Welcome to Modern Day Debate. Today we're going to be uh, having a discussion on whether Islam is true. Now, I just want to let everybody know that for this conversation, uh, we will be doing a Q&A at the end. Just make sure that your questions are for the arguments that have been presented and not attacks against our speakers. Uh, and due to our time constraints today, we will only be reading Super Chats over $10. Uh, so to start us out, we have Perfect Dawa. And uh, from what I understand, he's got a screen share he's going to do. So we'll kick it over to you, Perfect Dawa. And uh, thank you so much for being here. Hello, uh, and thank you for uh, this opportunity. Yes, uh, I would uh, share this screen. <clears throat> Let me see now the screen again went. I cannot find it. <laughs> I wish that I gave you the link. Uh, let me see. Sorry. It should be right at the bottom of our Zoom call there. Yes, yeah, I take your time. It's all right. This same. stuff can be tricky. Yeah. Uh, so where is it? Okay. I cannot find it again. And that was very important. Too. So if you just go into our Zoom, can I give you the yeah, link? So if you just the... hover your mouse over our Zoom chat. I, uh, I, I wouldn't be able to do that, but if you just hover your mouse over the Zoom call that we're having, next to the chat option is the screen share. You no, I know. I, I I am there, but I don't see the screen that I want to share <clears throat> again. It's so strange that I cannot see that. Uh, again, Zoom. Let me click again. If you just want to hit share all and then just drag over the screen you want to show the audience, I think that should be okay. Uh, yeah, now I see it. Okay, great. Now this time I close it and open again. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, share. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you see that? All right, we got you. All yep, right. We are good to go. Okay, let me see. <clears throat> uh, this is a... First, we can watch this uh, little video, a short video uh, from somewhere in Arabia, 1948, okay? Uh, and you see how people were living uh, in Arabia in 1948, okay? It's a very short video and you see the conditions and uh, how they were. these people. And that's 1948. Okay, so uh, now I would like to start my, uh, okay, my opening, just a moment. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Is Islam okay. true? Yes. Is Islam true? If you don't have the right knowledge of a science, I didn't have the right knowledge. This video uh, was from 1948, somewhere in Arabia. Definitely these people had more knowledge than people of 1400 years ago. They definitely had heard about airplanes or cars or that the earth is round and not flat. 1400 years ago in Arabia, the greatest knowledge was reading and writing, <clears throat> which most people, including Prophet Muhammad, didn't even have had that knowledge. Yet that illiterate man, knew that there was a beginning and there will be an end to this universe. <clears throat> Quran chapter 21, verse 104. The day when we will fold the universe like a folding, like the folding of a written sheet for the records, as we began the first creation, so we shall do it all over again. That is a promise binding upon us. Indeed, we will do it. In this verse, Prophet Muhammad talks not only that the, there was a beginning and there will be an end, but even how the world will end, as there are three possible ways, the big chill, the big rip, and the big crunch. From these three possible ways, he says the world will end through the big crunch. When he says we will fold the universe like a folding uh, like the folding of a written sheet so we shall do it all or, over again in the big crunch theory the world will be created again and again and again quran chapter 21 verse uh, 30 have those who are kafir not considered that the universe and the earth were a joint entity 
and we separated them and made from water every living thing, then will, uh, will they not believe? Today, we know that the universe was a joint entity and the Big Bang separated everything, but Prophet Muhammad told us this 1400 years ago, and he even told us that every living creature on earth has been created for water, something that we didn't know in the past. There are many other verses that are scientifically accurate and I will read them if we get time. Even talking about the universe for an illiterate man 1400 years ago was out of question and being so correct is absolutely amazing and could definitely not be from uh, him but a higher power. There are only three possibilities that why prophets claim to have contact with God. Either they were psychopaths or charlatans, or they were really prophets of God. No knowledgeable person could ever say they were uh, psychopaths or charlatans because such people never put their lives in danger to save people and teach them morality and good deeds. Quran chapter 16, verse 90. Indeed, Allah orders justice and good conduct and giving to relatives and forbids immorality and bad conduct and oppression. He admonishes you that perhaps you will be reminded. The prophets changed our world to a much better world. Teachings of Jesus, peace be upon him, like love one another, stopped Greeks and Romans from crucifying people or slaughtering gladiators in the stadiums. How can someone believe that he was a liar? Moses, peace be upon him, was the one who left the palace to save hundreds of thousands of slaves from Pharaoh's oppression. Muhammad, peace be upon him, saved millions of infant girls from being buried alive and so many other great uh, changes in our world by Abrahamic religions. Prophet Zaratul's three teaching, uh, main teachings didn't allow Persian empire practicing the same barbaric practices by Greeks and Romans, which I mentioned. There are many more facts that proves Abrahamic religions being true religions of God. As a former atheist, I have become a much better person than I was. For example, before converting to Islam, I believed in capital punishment for murderers. But Islam taught me that we are all sinners and we have no right to judge people. And the best judge is only God. All we can do is rehabilitate them and get rid of the source of the problems that guides people to bad deeds. Ali radiallahu advised his governor of Egypt. Malik, the worst people for you must be those who try to reveal people's mistakes and sins because people make mistakes and sins and the governor is the one who must cover them. Do not try to find people's mistakes and uh, because you your duty is to fix the problems that leads people to bad deeds and it is God's right to judge people, not yours. Cover people's mistakes and sins as much as you can so that God covers yours. Quran chapter 42, verse 40. And the retribution for an evil act is an evil one like it, but whoever pardons and makes reconciliation, his reward is due from Allah. Indeed, he does not like wrong, wrongdoers. Chapter 42, verse 43. And whoever is patient and forgives, indeed, that is of the matters requiring determ determination. Chapter 23, verse 96. O oh, Muhammad, repel evil in the best manner. We are well aware of all they say about you. Chapter 15, verse 85. Indeed, the hour is approaching, so pardon those who wronged you with most graceful pardon without revenge. Prophet Muhammad said, you do not do evil to those who do evil to you, but you deal with them with forgiveness and kindness. He also said, the pleasure you get in forgiveness, you never get in revenge. In a time when people didn't even have mercy on their own daughters and buried them alive, such statements could only come from students of the most merciful and forgiving God. Thank you. That was my opening.
Hi, thanks so much for having me. I'm glad to be here. Hello to Perfect Daw and everybody who's watching. Uh, it's weird, another midday debate, which isn't normal for me. Um, I know we're not having a rebuttal, period. Uh, so I just want to make quick notes at the, at the beginning of my opening statement, which is, it seems to me that his entire case is that Muhammad knew things when he didn't know them, um, that he couldn't have known without God, which hasn't been demonstrated, that he's personally a better person with regard to capital punishment. Uh, after becoming a Muslim, I'm thrilled and happy, but that doesn't tell us anything at all about whether or not Islam is true. Cites a bunch of verses that encourage good things like peace and pardoning and forgiveness and kindness, uh, and saying that those things could only come from God. Well, um, that which can be asserted without evidence can be rejected without evidence. And no, it's not just the case that, that can only come from God. So the issue here is, is Islam true? And for me, that means, does it comport with reality? Is it real? Does it manifest in reality in detectable ways? The actual tenets of of Islam. And because of that, I specifically asked for what would be what would be defended. Um, I'm not eliminating the supernatural here. I'm not saying that if you say something that's supernatural, we just get to disregard it. But nothing supernatural has been demonstrated to be real. And Islam, like other religions, uh, is is has has at its foundation an appeal to supernatural. There are plenty of things that people believe to be true, but believing it to be true is irrelevant to whether or not you can demonstrate it to be true. Uh, whether or not it's detectable in principle, like I can't afford to go to Antarctica in order to prove that Antarctica exists, uh, but in principle, I could verify it. And so that that verification in principle is the cornerstone of determining whether or not we get to call something real or true. If it can only be detected by an individual who already believes or a group and can't be shown to be true to anybody else, we don't get to say it's true. I mean, you can demonstrate color and sight to blind people. Blind people can be rationally justified that other people are capable of seeing and distinguishing between colors and objects and other things like that. Um, even if they can't experience sight or colored sight themselves, it can be uh, proven rationally to exist. <clears throat> Excuse me. People believe in ghosts and fairies and elves and dragons and countless other things that are not real or true in any demonstrable sense. That you believe it isn't relevant, that millions believe it isn't relevant, that it changes you and makes you a better person in your view isn't relevant. None of that is confirmation of the truth of the propositions. Demonstrable evidence for the proposition is the only path to truth that we have here at our opportunity or at today. Islam, specifically, I asked, what will we be defending? And I was told that it was the last message of God, and there will be no more message or messengers after the Prophet Muhammad. Um Number two was that Islam cannot be a man-made religion. And number three is that the Quran is infallible. On the claim that this is the last message or messenger of God, which actually Dawah didn't address at all in there. There was not a statement of that. There was no defense of that. So we can largely disregard that, which is good, because I don't know how you could prove that it's a message from a messenger of God in the first place, let alone I don't know how you could show that it's never going to happen again. That's like saying the U.S. will never have an openly atheistic president. You're unlikely to be proven wrong in your lifetime, so it's kind of a safe thing to say. Um, but to say to make your your evidence for a proposition about something in the future, uh, I don't know how you do that. And the assertion that it can't be man-made, we only got a little couple of assertions in there of, about uh, there's no way that someone could have known this. Well, you haven't demonstrated that someone knew that just because they said something and it's been interpreted in a certain way. It doesn't tell you what they actually understood or knew to be true. So which part of the Quran could not be written by a human? How do you determine that it couldn't be written by a human? I understand people assert it all the time. There's no way an illiterate man 1400 years ago could do this. Um, you can poison the well by showing what life was like in 1948, but all you're doing there is 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 cherry picking evidence because there was life that didn't look like that in 1948, including in um, Islamic countries. But all that does is show that they didn't make the progress, which you would think as, as people who have enlightened scientific information from God, they should be leading the charge, but they don't. And on the notion of whether or not the Quran is infallible, um, that to me would suggest perfect. And so the question becomes then, is it scientifically perfect? Um, my contention is that Muhammad would not get a passing grade in any modern science course. Um, the Quran is undeniably geocentric in its view. There's a possibility of, of interpreting it as a flat earth, and it has been interpreted that way. And then it's difficult to find a way to pray facing Mecca on a globe. Um, even if you were near the antipode, it starts getting confusing. 
Um, the Quran talks about seven heavens and seven earths. So that's not real. That's not true. The moon being split in two. That's not real. That's not true. That mountains are used to peg down the earth to prevent it from shaking. That's not real. That's not true. That's not how mountains are formed. That's not what they're for. They rise up from plates um, going underneath other plates. Uh, notions about the sun and the moon and what's a lamp and, a, and which one is providing its own light. Whether or not meteors are stars, they're not. Uh, whether or not they're missiles for the devils, they're not. The notion that the sky is a ceiling. Um, that we, even in his, his, the verses that he cited, which incidentally are some of the ones that I took notes on, um, 2130 talks about the heavens and earth joined together before they were cloven asunder, uh, and that we made water, or ever-living thing, from water. But that's not, um, the, the fact that living things um, are made with water and there is water doesn't mean they're made from water nor does it demonstrate any understanding of, of the reality of biology in uh 25 45 and 46 he talks about god making the shadows from the sun get longer um that's not an active process that's just physics and that god could make them stationary well prove it let's see god make them stationary um because that's an assertion that hasn't been demonstrated the model of day and night um, is okay and works at the equator or near the equator where these stories originated, but it doesn't work near the poles where there are long periods of night and it's not equally night and equally day. Um, semen doesn't come from between the backbone and the ribs. The embryo isn't formed merely from semen. Humans don't form from a clot of blood. The bones don't form before the flesh. There are more than four types of cattle, even if we take the understanding of cattle to be those specific types of animals that are listed like sheep, goats, oxen, and camels. What about reindeer and other animals that were used in other parts of the world in the same role that cattle were? Um, in uh, Sir 6125, it talks about um, the breast being close and constricted as if they had to climb up to the skies. But the opposite is actually true. And I find it funny that this is about Allah heaping the penalty on those who refuse to believe. And the penalty uh, for me is evidently a wide open expanded chest and a Rocky Mountain high because that's what actually happens when you get up to higher altitudes. Your chest doesn't become constricted. Your chest actually expands. The oxygen becomes thinner for sure. But the way it's perceived by a human is going to be different from the way it should be understood by a God. And so if this is all from God with perfect explanation, then it should not be confusing and it shouldn't get anything wrong. The Quran states that all organisms come in pairs. That's simply false. There are multiple species of reptiles that reproduce parthenogenically. In 1679, um, it talks about the birds poised in the midst of the sky, held up by nothing but Allah, which is a demonstration of ignorance of physics and aerodynamics. There's a claim that waters don't mix, but they do. They always have volumes of differing salinity do eventually homogenize. Just because you can see the delineation doesn't mean they never mix. That an author might be ignorant of these things is not a surprise. But that Allah could be ignorant of this betrays that the book is the work of a flawed man and not the work of a god. A god could have done so much better with perfect accuracy, explanations, and no confusion. Is it also perfect on morality, where in Surah 4, in a couple of places, if you can't marry a free-believing woman, you should marry a servant, which means it's kind of okay with slavery, but you only get to punish them half as much. And in 434, if men are in charge of women, uh, men are made to be in charge of women, and if your woman is disobedient, then you punish them by beating them and refusing to have sex with them. I don't find that to be a very morally sound. It's good to let your slaves go free, uh, according to the Quran, but it's also good for retaliation to, uh, if one of your slaves is killed, to kill one of theirs, male for male, female for female, believer, non-believer, etc. Um, the book isn't scientifically accurate or useful, and definitely not without flu. And some people are going to be offended if they're not already in just a moment. And I see no reason to avoid offense when we're talking about what the truth is. <clears throat> it also isn't without flaws on morality especially as there are countless Muslim apologists trying to find a way to make it seem acceptable for a grown man to marry a six-year-old and consummate it at nine. And to use that man as the messenger, the foundation, the final messenger for all of this demonstrates a problem with the God model. Oh no, Matt brought up something awful at the last minute. No, Matt brought up something true. The Quran can be the work of men and seems entirely be. It can be infallible and the work of God if it can't be infallible in the work of God, if it's wrong on science and morality, and the very notion of Allah choosing as the foundational final prophet, someone who, if this happened today, would be in prison for statutory rape and other charges against a minor, places that God's ethics and intelligence in question. Sitcoms in my life, looking back to 70s and 80s, are often problematic in hindsight. 
But if God wrote a sitcom, it would be perfect. You would never look back at it and go, ooh, that was a little cringy. And yet that's exactly what's happened with the Islam. It hasn't aged well. And therefore, Islam simply isn't true. All right. Thank you so much, Matt, for that opening uh, topic there. And uh, yeah, I see somebody in the live chat said if uh, I was muted again for this show that they would lose it. And I'm half tempted to put myself on mute just to... Just to test that out. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So uh, just to let you all know, uh, right now, both of our guests are linked in the description. And after 24 hours of us having this debate, we will be uploading this to our podcast forums. So uh, check out your favorite podcast app for these debates on the go. They're all ad free. Uh, we're going to kick it open into an open discussion now. So uh, we'll uh, let Dawa open up uh, where Matt just finished off there and uh, kick the floor open to you guys uh, for your discussion. So. Matter. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Matt. Uh, you were, of course, yes, uh, mentioning a lot of things that uh, uh, we definitely don't wish to talk about everything. But uh, we can talk about, for example, beating wives and uh, child marriage. Uh, I'm a Muslim that absolutely do not believe in such a things. Okay, I don't believe that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, married a child because uh, uh, I don't believe that even uh, Prophet Muhammad split the moon. Uh, because the, the same person who says that uh, Prophet Muhammad uh, split the moon, which is a big lie, uh, the, the same person says that Prophet Muhammad married a child as well. So I don't believe in neither of them because uh, he was a liar and he was uh, saying a lot of uh, lies about Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him. So, I, I, um, I appreciate, I appreciate oh, that. Yes, um, yes. Would you at uh, least agree yeah, that the uh, bulk of Muslim scholars do hold that Muhammad married Aisha at six and consummated it. Yes, yes, I have okay. said it. Uh, yes, that's not, fine. If, if yeah, it's not you, good. then I don't want to make you defend something you yeah, don't believe. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So I we'll... just have to say that, yeah, Matt, uh, because uh, my parents put me in school to become, uh, you know, to get educated, to feed my children later, become a doctor or engineer or whatever. Their parents were putting them in a madrasa to become a scholar to feed their families. Okay, so. Unfortunately, in all religion, these people use religion as a, you know, business. So uh, it, they don't put their business in danger, go against the mainstream uh, because, you know, because they don't simply believe. I know priests in Sweden who go to church and they preach, but they don't believe in God. So so uh, uh, the, such a people don't care about the religion. They don't believe in it. I, I get it. Yes, yes. So any, anyway, about the last message when, that why uh, there will be no message anymore is that, Matt, there is, uh, in our uh, world, God tried to guide us from this animal life we are living in, from this jungle that guide us to all bad deeds. He tried to guide us to a human world, a world where we share everything with each other, we love one another. So the message uh, Prophet Muhammad brought was that message that guide us to that world. And I don't think that there will be an, another messenger to come and say, give the same message. So when uh, the messenger, if there are two, two ways for humanity to live in this jungle with all these problems that the, with the rule uh, rules of this jungle, that the strongest one get the most, the weakest one get the least or nothing. And everybody kill each other to become richer and richer. It is one way that this is the jungle, the animal world that uh, is designed for animals, not for humans, and that human world. So there are two possible ways for humanity. And Islam has come to guide us. That's why it is the last message of God has come to guide us to that world, a world where we don't need weapons, we don't need war, we just share everything with each other and we love one another. So that's why there will be no new messengers and that's why it hasn't come yet today, still. And about those... Uh, hang on. Yes, yes. So you think that there won't be another messenger because yes. there wouldn't be any reason for another messenger to come and deliver the same message. Exactly. Okay, okay. Yes. cool. I just want to make sure I'm getting this correct. Yes. However, yes. can you mm -hmm. demonstrate as a fact that there won't be a new messenger with a new message? Okay, because uh, as I said, uh, God's aim was only one, to guide us to live to a human world. 
get us out of this jungle. He wants us to, you know, he created us like animals, but he gave us this ability to understand. So he did that he communicate with us and teach us that we shouldn't live like animals of the jungle. I don't, I don't see how this is an answer to my question. It's a restatement that you believe that of what God's purpose is. I don't know how you know what God's purpose is or yes. anything else, but the question mm -hmm. that I asked is, can you demonstrate that there won't be another messenger with a different message? Because I think you'd probably agree that okay. Christians think that Jesus was God's son and that he was, that, that, that Muhammad is not a real prophet of, of God. Yes. And so they think that Jesus delivered the last message. You think Muhammad delivered the last message. And what I'm saying is, if you're going to sit here and defend the notion that there will not be another messenger, you can't defend that by simply saying, I don't think there's going to be another messenger. You have to show how you know there's not going to be another messenger. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, that's, uh, of course, uh, is uh, they have to explain as well that why God sent us, uh, you know, why God created us on this planet. Okay. Mostly, uh, most people believe that God created us here, that we worship him. And I believe that it is not about that. God created us here, that uh, he guide us. He changed us from animal, that selfish creature uh, that is uh, just thinking about himself and he's ready to kill millions of people for his own interest, okay? He tried to change that that uh, uh, animal to uh, something that he's not in nature. We are not human in nature, okay? We are animal in nature. We all are born like animals, but some live like human and die like human. Some live like animal and die like animals, okay? So God tried to uh, guide us to a world, to a system or a way that we live and die like animals, okay? uh, sorry, like human beings, okay? And he, in this uh, system that we are living in this jungle, it is difficult to live like human beings because this system, as Ali Radiallahu, I read for you, he said to his governor, to fix the problems that lead people to bad deeds, not punishing people, okay? So that's why I'm against punishment because there is a system that... I'm guide people to bad deeds, okay? So we have to get rid of this system. And Prophet Muhammad brought the final message, how to get rid of this system, this uh, Satan, that so, satanic system, yes. So my question was, mm -hmm. can you prove that there won't be another messenger? And so far in your response, you've okay. talked about things like you say, most people believe, but I believe this, you know. Okay. Well, it doesn't right. matter, it doesn't matter. Hang on, yes. it doesn't matter what most people believe. And yeah. the fact that you believe it is already there. I'm asking, why do you believe it? Okay. Do, do you understand that in yes. making in, in doing a debate, when you make yeah. your statement of what your case is, the next position, the next thing you have to do is explain why. Nothing okay. you've just said for the last okay. few minutes in responding to that has right. anything to do with why mm -hmm. we should be convinced that there won't be another messenger. All right, instead, okay. instead, you added more stuff to it, which now I'm going to have questions about the more stuff. So do you have a way to demonstrate that there won't be another messenger? All right. Yes. I <clears throat> Look, uh, Matt, there are, I said there are two ways, okay? If we want to live in this jungle, okay, <clears throat> like, like animals, then we don't need uh, uh, messengers. We don't need religion because this jungle is run by our nature. Okay, in this jungle, the strongest one get the most, the weakest one get the least. Okay, it's it is running by our nature, animal nature. But if we want to live like human beings uh, in a peaceful world, a world that no no bad deeds happens. Okay, we need uh, uh, an ideology. Okay, because that world is uh, designed for uh, you know for humans. Okay, which is not in our nature, uh, and. Uh, to come to that world, okay, we need a, a perfect ideology that has thought about everything. And I say all these uh, tools, all these uh, uh, um, guidance are in Quran. And I can, of course, explain what is that guidance. If someone else, if some another religion says that, no, it is in Christianity as well, okay, Christianity can guide us to that world, okay, so I can give you an example. Now no, no, sir. No, sir. I don't need another example. I need you to answer the question. Every time yes. I ask you the question, you go off on a tangent about something else. Let's back up a little bit. Okay. Okay. You said that God created us as animals and that being human isn't in our nature, correct? Yes. 
is not in our nature. <clears throat> it's uh, what, knowledge. What, what do you mean by being human? And how do you know that God created us and created us as animals without humanity in our nature? Okay. <clears throat> humanity is not a form. Humanity is the uh, knowledge. Okay. Animal is not a form either. It's a way of life. Humanity is also a way of life. <clears throat> and we know that we are in nature. Everybody know. I, I think you also believe that in nature we are animals. Okay. We are like all other animals. <clears throat> and uh, we, uh, the only thing is that we, we change. Okay. By our, uh, you know, our teachings, <clears throat> uh, what we learn in our society, that won't shape us. So, <clears throat> Uh, when the, the humanity is not a form, okay, then God uh, try to guide us, teach us how to live, uh, to be a human being, okay, by teaching us those verses that I read for you to forgive, to love one another, and so on. And <clears throat> uh, as I said, it is not, uh, I'm going to tell you that we are living in a city full uh, with fire, with uh, corruption, killings, and so on. And there is a utopia, okay, that we can live there uh, beautifully, okay? So any anyone, any uh, religion or whatever can take us to that utopia, okay? That's the religion uh, that I believe, okay, that it's from God, okay? Okay, and it, God it, none, of the, a... none of this matters. None of this okay. matters. You're, you're saying that there's a utopia out there and the religion that points to the utopia you prefer is the one you're going to follow. That has nothing to do with whether or not it's true. I'm not even convinced okay. that we have any way of getting to whether it's true. Let me ask you this. Okay. Is a sense of fairness part oh. of humanity? <clears throat> Sorry? A sense of fairness, is that part of hum humanity or is that animal nature? Uh, that's an animal. Uh, I mean, fairness, uh, can you give me an example? What, what do you mean with fairness? Like saying, um, being upset that, somebody else got paid more than you did or got paid better than you did mm -hmm. and saying that's not fair. Is okay. that part of animal nature or human nature? Um, <clears throat> selfishness is a part of uh, animal nature. Okay. That's not to what I self. asked. Yes. To be selfish. That's, that's okay. not what I asked. All right. Uh, I, but, I, I asked uh, about, I asked yeah. about fairness and you responded with selfishness. I've asked about yeah. why you believe stuff and you just tell me more about what you believe. All right. Okay. Let me tell you that <clears throat> I don't know uh, exactly. Uh, I mean, I've been thinking about uh, this question that fairness is a part of, uh, you know, animal nature because we know what animal uh, animals are. They are selfish. Okay, they just want. Uh, they just think about themselves. Okay. Okay. Yes. That that's yeah. what they are. And human. I, I'm. Uh, he, <clears throat> yes. You know, if you're just going to go off and lecture about what animals are, we, we can't even get to where we can determine that we're, first of all, I don't think we're distinct from animals. I think we are animals, but I also, I also exactly. recognize that there are things about humans capacities for, um, uh, cognitive abilities and a uh, sense of justice and to explore ideas. It, it far exceeds many of the other animals, but your assertion is that God created us as animals without human nature. How do you know that? Okay, because I know that I believe that a human is not in nature. Human is not a form. What I you mean, believe isn't relevant. I want okay. to know how you know. I did this at the beginning of my opening. I've, I've tried yes. to explain this like five times. Okay. And now I'm saying, how do you know that God created us as animals without human, without, um, without humanity? Uh, not, not what you know. How do you know that? Because I just, uh, I mean, it's very difficult to to explain that uh, I, I have. You're said here that... to do a debate. You're literally here yes. to explain this. What good does it do to say how difficult it is to explain? Why would you hold positions, challenge me to a debate? And then for every question I ask, it's either a complete deflection into something else or a okay. restatement of what you believe. How do you know? How can anyone know? that God created us as animals without humanity as our nature? That's the question. Okay, do you believe that we are human? Do you, do you believe you're, because my, I have to ask you a question. Do you believe that we are human? Yes. Do you believe human? Yes. Human? Okay. Yes. All right. And that's a that's, uh, different uh, belief, that I don't believe that we are human. I don't believe human is, human is uh, uh, a form. 
I believe human is a way of life. I don't believe that animal is a form either. I believe animal. How do I keep getting in these debates? Hmm. Now you're saying you and I are not humans, right? No, I say that we are not humans. Okay, we, so you're saying become. that Islam is truth, but you and I are not humans, and I'm expected to sit oh. here and take this seriously? Okay. All right. Uh, the thing is that I said that it is different opinion that you uh, you, you think that we, humanity is a, is a form, okay? But I believe humanity... Would you agree, a, would you agree that the overwhelming majority of scientific experts would describe yeah. us both as human beings? No, they, they describe us as man not human. Okay. No, sir. Are you okay. saying that if I went out and interviewed most of the scientists on the planet okay, and, and, and asked them, are Perfect Dawa and myself, are we human? Would their answer be yes or no? Okay. I don't know what their answer will be. Oh, bullshit. Okay. No, I just say that we are, we are man. We are not human. We are man. Okay. We are, we okay. are, we continue are, on I, with whatever you feel like preaching about you've managed okay. to acquire my time right. and waste it now we're going to waste okay. everybody else's time too okay no all right that's let's, uh, let's move into let's move into our uh secondary topic here that we had for uh the debate uh we kind of focused a bit there on uh the last message of uh islam <clears throat> there i think uh we've we kind of hammered that one a bit. So uh, yeah. if we can move into uh, the topic of Islam cannot be a man-made religion. And I'll kick it over to you, Perfect Dawa, to uh, explain okay. uh, that sentiment there. All right. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> as I said, that the, uh, uh, the the source of all problems is the, the jungle that we are living in. And uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, uh, message was to guide us out of this jungle to a world without all bad deeds, everything will be uh, beautiful. Uh, we will live without any wars, any corruption, any bad deeds. Okay, and that cannot be from that cannot be from uh, an illiterate man fourteen hundred years ago. At least I cannot believe that. Uh, I don't think any rational person can believe that that illiterate man fourteen hundred years ago could guide us to such a world. And he knew that one day world. Everyone will be righteous, and the world, the, the the planet will be ruled by righteous people. And I see, uh, when I look at the uh, uh, history, I see that we are really towards that that uh, you know beautiful world. When I look at, for example, Scandinavia or Europe in the past, how they were, and now how these countries are, I see that we are developing, and one day we really reach to that beautiful word that Prophet Muhammad promised us 1400 years ago that uh, Allah says that uh, it is a promise from him that one day the righteous uh, servant of Allah will rule and inherit the planet. Okay. So you just stated a so bunch sorry, of opinions, yeah, Dawa, um, none of which address the actual topic uh, that yeah, we were redirected um, to. Okay. Uh, Kaz, you want to, uh, sorry, James, you want to say something? Oh, sorry. Yeah. My, my name is Ryan. Sorry. Uh, I, I was just to say the uh, the topic uh, that we're moving into is Islam cannot be a man-made religion. So okay. if we could focus on that point of how it, it could not have been made by a man uh, and what what that right. mean. Yes, uh, yes. I think that's, uh, yes. Uh, that okay. would be fruitful. Yes, yes. Uh, I, uh, I read some uh, verses. Of course, uh, Matt brought other verses that uh, need also explanation. But I brought verses uh, beginning that, uh, uh, you know, uh, as a former atheist, when I uh, uh, realized that the pagans, they believe in reincarnation and they say that uh, the reincarnation is forever, I started to think myself that how could people of thousands of years ago say that there will be an end to this universe, which is in Abrahamic religion. That Only that thing ch uh, changed me to start to think that this... Uh, people of the past couldn't, uh, absolutely couldn't know that there will be an end to this universe, okay? And I brought other verses that says that not only that there was a beginning to this universe, there will be an end to this universe, that how the world will end, and there are other, of course, uh, verses of Quran about uh, parallel universes that you said no seven heaven doesn't exist. Of course, uh, now today the, the science 
say, uh, scientists say that uh, b- uh, they believe in a parallel universe and Quran mentioned that as seven heavens, okay? And uh, there are other verses, but uh, uh, the, the, the reality is that um, the most important is the, that, that that illiterate man in that, uh, you know, time that people were buried, their, their daughters alive, he uh, brought us all these beautiful verses of Quran that teach us how to forgive, you know, how to live and uh, uh, try to solve our problems. And I mentioned that so many problems Abrahamic religion solved for, uh, from humanity, including Islam. And these people absolutely could never be, uh, you know, uh, ordinary people because in those times people uh, were just uh, not right uh, righteous enough to to teach us such a things uh, you know so uh, it is of course uh, I don't have a miracle to show uh, Matt now okay to show him that yes this miracle shows that uh, you know God exists or Prophet Muhammad was a prophet of God uh, only uh, my my uh, the, the verses of Quran and some facts okay that of course it is uh, de- he definitely he's here to deny those facts even if uh, they are they are true but uh, uh yes i i have uh, given wait did, the, did you the, just suggest that i'm here to merely deny facts even if they're true after you spewed nothing but a parade of opinion that wasn't relevant to the question you were asked is that what you did I you just try to paint this as if I'm going to deny true facts. Okay. I told you that I gave you those verses. Did did you just paint this as if I'm here to deny true facts? Okay. I said that you are here to, to, to deny them. Yes. Yeah. Why would you do that? I've sat here and asked questions, which you have Mm -hmm. repeatedly avoided to the point where everybody is mocking this at this point. Mm -hmm. And it feels like a waste of time. You were asked how you can demonstrate that the Quran cannot be man-made. And you went in with something that's at least the beginnings of a case, which is, hey, it appears that Muhammad wrote things that he couldn't have known. The problem is that you decided to massage the language about seven heavens to suggest that science is confirming this with the multiverse, which, by the way, is still theoretical and has nothing to do with the poetic, archaic concepts of seven heavens and seven earths with a firmament with different layers where the stars are in them at different layers. Um, It denies the fundamental facts that do exist within the Quran, which are not supported by the science. But then you decide to poison the well by suggesting that I'm just going to sit here and deny reality. I would put it to a vote of the entire world as to which one of us has denied reality during this debate so far. So let's stop with making accusations about how Matt's just going to show up and, and, and deny facts. I've asked questions. Your position here is to defend the notion that the Quran is infallible, it can't be man-made, and that this was the last message, last messenger. And what, what evidence have you presented for any of that? Okay, the entire Quran. I said that the how the uh, Abrahamic the religion, entire Quran yes. can't be proof that the okay. Quran isn't man-made. Okay, look, I said that all these messengers of God they change our the humanity's uh, you know uh, behavior, the the history of mankind. Okay, I gave even. Uh, the uh, example of Greeks and Romans. The fact that people change after reading beliefs and participating in religions doesn't doesn't do anything to testify to the truth of the religion. Would you agree with me that people change after they convert to Christianity? Yes, people change, yes. Does that mean that Christianity is true? Yes, Christianity is true, of course. Okay. Would you believe that, would you agree that people change after converting to Hinduism and Scientology? Um, I don't know how they change because oh, uh, now yeah. now you're no. just being so no. obvious. No, because I haven't seen. Are you see, Do you think that people who who convert to Scientology don't change their views? Okay, they change their views. Yes. Do they? Does happens. does their life change to where they feel? Have you seen Tom Cruise? Does Tom Cruise look pretty happy now that he's a Scientologist? Okay, but uh, I mean, uh, one person. You, I'm, does that mean I'm, that I'm, Scientology is true? I'm, I'm showing the history of mankind. Does it mean that Scientology is true? No, 
No, then it doesn't mean that Christianity or Islam is true. The fact that someone changes their psychologically changes their preferences, their desires, their motivations, that doesn't prove that the doctrine that convinced them to change is true, does it? Okay. Um, uh, look, I say that uh, the history, okay, the history I'm, shows... I'm, I'm sorry the, that logic uh, is difficult, okay. Okay. but the fact of the matter is you just debunked yourself. Okay, because look, Matt, the, it, the the mere fact that someone believes something is enough to cause them to take action, which means they can change. But yes. the mere fact that someone believes something isn't sufficient to conclude that it's true, right? Okay, all right. Yes, uh, no, that that's uh, that. But I say that thousands of years ago, these people, when they came and uh, they put their lives to change humanity's, uh, you know, uh, destiny, yep. they were they were. Uh, Either liars when they say that uh, they are prophets of God, okay, I said it from beginning, or they were really prophets of God. And such a people with this, uh, uh, you know, great job, they wouldn't be uh, liars, okay? And I said that uh, after all, uh, Quran, yes. Quran, in, look, Matt, well, let me tell you this. Quran is not about, yes, Quran is not about that you have to believe in, you know, in existence of God, that it is true. Quran is about that you follow those beautiful verses of Quran, commands of Quran, and be a good human being, okay? And try to create a better world for other people, okay? I'm not here to, you know. Uh, am, am I a good person? I don't know you personally. No. I don't Do you know. think I can be a good person if yes, I'm not a Muslim? Yes. Yes, definitely. I, I, I believe so, that you so can be. I can be. I can be a good person, even if I'm not a Muslim. Can I be actively working to make the world a better place? Yes, I, I cool. mean, that, yes. Is that also true if I'm actively working in opposition to Islam? Uh, depend on, uh, I mean, that if you act in opposition of islam uh, those verses that teaches you to do good deeds okay you cannot so you're talking about the verses that you're talking about not the other verses i mean the other verses that you uh, yes you say that no quran is not from god because this verse about universe is not true that's no problem yet the only thing is that it's a problem cannot... if you if you've said that the quran is infallible are you now acknowledging that the quran is fallible no i'm saying that it is no problem that you, uh, there is no problem in Islam that you reject them, okay? The problem is that if you reject the, the teachings of Quran that teaches you to, to be a good person, to, to uh, be just, to be uh, forgiving, okay? And, so so uh, you're, only, you're only worried about the verses of the Quran. What verses of the Quran do you think are false? There is no uh, false verses in Quran, no. Okay, so why are you saying that I can be good as long as I am only opposing certain verses in the Quran? Why wouldn't it be you can only be a good person if you hold to every verse in the Quran? Because, uh, I mean, those verses that um, yeah, tells you, for, for example, about uh, yeah, universe, it is uh, it doesn't change you to be a good person or a bad person. Well, you, all right, no, no, I'm not. Science, so that's not okay? the thing. That's that's yes. the thing is. Which forms first, bones or flesh? Uh, I'm not a scientist, so... So you don't know? No, which, I don't know. What, which one does the Quran say form first? Uh, look, I, I'm not a scientist, so... I, I, I didn't I, ask I, you. I didn't oh, ask you if you're a scientist and you're not okay. relevant. You're supposed to be sitting here defending an infallible Quran. Okay. Yes. What does the Quran say forms first, bones or flesh? Okay, uh, I have seen that uh, scientists, uh, they have been talking about that that verse, and they have explained it. Uh, no, scientists aren't paying any attention to yeah, it. No, what does are. the Quran say come, forms are. first? I I don't remember exactly. Well, maybe you should go study it, since you're the one yes, that's sir. here defending it as infallible. Yes. How no, many types it, of cattle are there, according to the Quran? I haven't memorized all verses of Quran, I say. Okay. okay. Do you know how many, uh, how, many, how many cattle types there are, according to the Quran? No, I I say I haven't uh, 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 memorized or I haven't. Uh, uh, what is it? Concentrate, okay. Does the Quran every, does the Quran say verses. that all organisms were created in pairs? I don't remember that. I don't. You don't remember that either. No. Um, Look, okay. Yes. Uh, it, it's it's really convenient how the yes. guy who's here to say that the Quran is infallible. Okay. doesn't remember the specifics of what, what the Quran says on these things. 
Well, the Quran does say that all organisms were created in pairs, but that's not true. No, now, uh, uh, isn't that doesn't that mean that that verse is wrong? No, no. Look, uh, I I have to say that uh, I have to say that certain verses of Quran have been wrongly interpreted. Okay. No, and, no, 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 uh, no, no. It's not verses. a matter of wrong okay. interpretation. Yes. Don't yes. we have the original? What's the, it say the, in the original? No, the, the original is there, and uh, people say even about, uh, you know, different verses, uh, like uh, uh, Kafir, okay? They, they translate it as disbelievers, which is not disbeliever. It's a wrongly interpreted in, in Quran. Okay, so, uh, so Quran doesn't I, I want to make sure you're yes. in a position here where you are not siding with most Muslim scholars on whether or not uh, Muhammad uh, married a six-year-old and consummated at nine. Um, yes. You are not siding with most scientists on whether or not you and I are human beings. You mm -hmm. are saying that the Quran is infallible. And then when I bring up the verses that might show that there's a problem with it, you don't remember those verses. I tell you what, let's okay. go with whether or not the Quran says all organisms are created in pairs. You go look it up. I'll wait. All right. I will. I will check it. Yes. No, go Maybe. look it up now and, and, and I'll wait. I showed up to debate this now, not to talk to you in a okay. month when you find okay. out you're wrong. All right. Do, do you remember the verse? Because I, I don't remember the verse. Oh, sure. Let me uh, let me Google this. Yes. Quran. Oh, you guys are uh, getting All that stuff up. Oh, so just give me one second here. Got to do a little bit of the fun here. So if you like what you're hearing here, Matt's actually going to be back. Uh, to debate uh, Islam again with a saint, and we're going to put the promo right over there. So uh, we have a, a, a pledge for $1 in the crowdfund in the link below uh, uh, for this debate that's coming up for DebateCon. So, uh, uh, yeah, we'll let these gentlemen uh, sort out what they got there and uh, get their verses up, and we'll continue on with the discussion. Did you find it? No, you were looking for it. Uh, oh, yes. I thought we were both looking for it. But it, no, you know, I think it's it may be 5149. I'm checking right now. While you are checking that, I would like to say about BDY. Okay. Or okay. oh, you found it? Yes, 5149 of everything we've created pairs that you may receive instruction. What's it supposed yeah. to say in the correct interpretation? It's also in 3636. 5149. And also 3636. Glory to Allah who created in pairs all things that the earth produces, as well as their own humankind and other things of which they have no knowledge. So that's 3636. What should that say instead of all things were created in pairs? All right. Uh, I see here, okay, let's say uh, I have to uh, make a research on that, okay? Okay. Because because I have never uh, been pondering on this, okay, uh, I'll make a research on that and uh, sure. I, I will. I'm be, happy I, to move I, on. Yeah. Yes, I will uh, go live every Saturdays on my channel. And uh, but, okay, I'm not here to advertise your channel. What's no, the no, next no. actual piece of evidence that you know of and okay. are willing to defend with regard to the propositions? Sorry, sorry, no, I'm not uh, about ad advertising. I said that I will go live for those who are listening now. If they would like to tomorrow night, I'll go live and then I will uh, uh, say about these words. Okay, uh, <clears throat> I have to uh, find out with uh, other people and read the the interpretation, different interpretation, and then I will let you know about beating wife. Okay, you were saying uh, Quran says beating wife. No, absolutely, Quran doesn't say beat your wife. It says leave uh, them after the third. Uh, the, the third option is to leave them, not to beat them, because next uh, I will read for you. What, uh, what, what, what are you saying? It doesn't say that? No, it doesn't absolutely say that. Because so what does it say in Surah 4, verse 34? 4, yeah, it says that. It says that. It says that. It's, you just uh, said it doesn't say that, and now no. you're saying it says that. No, I just... Let's wait, let's wait. read. Wait, let's wait, read 434. Matt, no, Matt, Matt wait, let I say, it says that men are providers of women by what Allah has given one over the others and what they spend from their wealth. So righteous women spend from their wealth, 
so righteous men, uh, women are uh, devoutly guarding in their husband's absence and Allah would have them guard. But those wives from whom you fear arrogance, first advise them, uh, then if they persist, forsake them in bed and finally leave them. But if they change their ways, seek no means against them, surely Allah is high, uh, the highest uh, and the greatest. Next verse also says that, and in case you fear split between the two, this is after he left, okay? Then send forth a judge from his family and a judge from her family in case they both are willing to act righteously, both. Allah will cause them to reach a, an agreement between them. Surely Allah is all knowing all ever. So how strange that your verse 34 um, says um, to, to deny them sex and then leave them. And every no, it's not sex is not sex separate. Yeah. Uh, don't share your bed with them. Okay? That's what that means. I'm yes, sorry okay. that you don't understand right. it, but don't okay. share it. Let me finish my thought. All right, yeah. Don't okay. share a bed with them. To abandon them from the bed is the same thing as denying them sex. But literally, okay. your verse then says to leave them. And yes. every single version that I go look up says to strike them or scourge them. Why do you have a version of the Quran that is softer than the okay. one that I find on everyone, including like Brandeis University? Um, why does yours say leave them when all of these others? Here's Al Quran info. Um, that's about property yeah. and marriage rights, uh, advise them, keep them away from bed. And as a last resort, beat them. I'm literally looking, looking at it. I can, I I, here, let me I share know. my screen. Cause it, this is, um, this is can worthwhile go, here. Can you go to, uh, is Islam awaken? No, I, no, no. I, I'm just going to share my screen. I if know you think, that. If you think it's the wrong one, that's on you. Yes. yes. I, so, I, so you can see this now, right? Yes. Yes. And so here's the third, four. Here it is written in Arabic. And the translation, why is this translated wrong? Because uh, they have uh, translated. It's, you cannot translate certain verses of Quran. You have to interpret them, okay? These are unspecific verses of Quran, okay? That Quran says only Allah and those firm in knowledge understand. The I, I'm saying, why, why is this wrongly translated on a public website representing the Quran with the words beat yes. them if that's okay. wrong? Yes, I tell you that they translate it. They shouldn't translate it. They should interpret it, okay? Because strike is chapter 66 verse, uh, sorry, uh, let me uh, find, strike has been used in chapter 18 verse 11. Strike is cover. So we cast a cover of sleep over their uh, ears within the cave. Okay, I just say the verses. Chapter 20, verse 77, strike is search. Chapter 4, verse 101, strike is travel. Chapter 43, verse 5, strike is ignore. Okay, so uh, when a, a word has been used in different meaning in Quran, then you have to interpret it. You cannot translate it. Chapter 33, verse 28 to 31, uh, Allah talks about Prophet Muhammad and his wife, and in none of them, Allah says, beat your wives, okay? And chapter 60, verse wife to, uh, 1 to 5, also Allah talks about Prophet's wife, and Allah doesn't say a single word uh, uh, to his prophet to beat your wives. And uh, there are chapter 65, verse 6, let the women who are undergoing waiting period uh, they are in divorce, okay? Live in the same manner as you live yourself in accordance with your means and do not harass them with a view to making their lives a misery. And if they happen to be with child, spend freely on them until they deliver their burden, okay? The, Allah, is. this is a woman that you have divorced and you don't want to see her, but three months he has to, she has to live with you in such a manner. So such a God doesn't allow you to beat your wife, okay? Yeah, do you know something? You, yeah. you know what just happened recently here? Uh, on January 6th, um, after um, the election, some people decided to storm the Capitol. And, um, and yeah. they, what they did was illegal and violent and destructive. And 
Recently on Fox News, um, somebody edited together highlights from that clip to make it look like it was a nice, peaceful event. That's exactly what you're doing. You're going out to all the other verses that you want to interpret as if it's opposed to beating wives in order to ignore the verse that literally says to do it. Now, if you want to say it's a wrong translation, stop debating me. Go take it up with the people who are posting those websites um, <clears throat> because they're the ones that are making you look foolish unless you're doing it yourself now. Yes, I understand. Matt, uh, uh, James knows very well and everybody else know that I am uh, trying to fight them and uh, they they have been blocking me and I have asked uh, many times that I want to debate okay. such, such a people like- I, I'm such, sorry like, that you're the outlier, but that the fact that you're the outlier doesn't do anything to show that you're right. And maybe you wouldn't be the outlier if you had any capacity to ever demonstrate that you're right. But all you come with is your opinion and they're wrong. And I, dis I disagree with the majority of Muslims on this. And I disagree with the majority of scientists on this. And I don't know what this says. And I don't know what this says. And this definitely says beat them in Arabic, but that's not what it means because you have to interpret it differently. This is a train wreck of a defense of Islam. All right, can I read please this? Chapter 3, verse 7, it says- Do whatever you want. Yes, it is, uh, this is, you have to read Quran through this chap, uh, verse, okay? Chapter 3, verse 7. It is he who has sent down to you, O Muhammad, the book. In it are verses that are precise. They are the foundation of the book and others unspecific. As for those whose heart is corrupted, they will follow that of it which is unspecific desiring to create confusion and their own interpretation and no one knows its true interpretation except Allah and those cool. in knowledge cool. okay. if so, no one knows the true translation and true explanation except Allah then you no, don't know correct no Matt, Matt, Matt correct Matt. No, Matt, no, no, Matt, look, it says- Does that verse, does that no. verse say that nobody knows except Allah, right? That's what, That's why you should wait, you should Would, wait. Would you, no, 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 I'm not waiting. No, Is that I, what the verse says? No, it says- The verse it, does not say that no one knows except Allah. No, look, okay. it said, no one knows its true interpretation except Allah and those- And? And those firm in knowledge, okay? Yes. Yes. And those firm in knowledge. So there are those who, who's firm in knowledge. They also know. And they, here we go. Yes. So Allah, how do you tell? How Allah, do you tell? How do you tell who those people are? Okay. Yes. Okay. Look, Allah say, and says, and they say, we believe in it. All of it is from our Lord. And no one will be reminded except those of understanding so, so not you okay no uh, okay. not you no. because you're not no. saying all of it is, is of the lord you're saying that no, people no. have gotten it translated wrong no i say all of them are from our lord okay but i don't say that they those who are translated they they have translated they haven't interpreted because they are not knowledgeable people some of them are corrupted okay as quran says they, how do you tell the difference yes the difference is that uh, Quran said that the precise verses are the foundation of Quran. So the precise verses. That's of not Quran, an answer to my question. If okay. two people interpret the Quran differently, how do you tell which one's got it right? Okay, because you have to put these verses beside each other, which I read. For That's you. not an answer. Yeah. Okay, how do you, like, what? What is the mechanism by which you can show okay. yes. which translation is correct and which translation is incorrect? Okay, look, uh, Quran says those firm in knowledge how they know that they are not calling allah okay somehow they know the true interpretation of the verses how they know it they put them beside each other okay and no they, that's not the question so okay here are two interpretations of the quran okay how can i tell which one of them is correct okay can i say yeah if if you put them beside other verses and you see that it contradict other verses, okay, then either Allah contradict himself, okay, or you your interpretation is wrong, all right? So Okay, when, when, let me when, let me show you how silly this is. Now you, I have two verses that contradict each other, right? Okay? How do yeah. I know which of the two contradictory verses is done correctly? Okay, because they you know uh, you have to understand that, uh, for example, striking women is against the mercy of Allah, which is the foundation of No, Quran. sir. 
Okay. That's not what I asked. All yes. right. I, I, I'm done. I give up. All right. I told you, look. I surrender. <laughs> no. Nope. Right, let's move into our Q&A, fellas. You win. No. I told you, Matt, that you No, have you win. To okay. yep. You have to. You have, you have to no mechanism for understanding We are getting truth. pressed for- You do uh, not understand that merely okay. when two things disagree, you don't get to assume the one that you like is true. No, you don't, you don't know that. what truth is, and you are no. sitting here trying to defend Islam, no. Islam true, but you're no. not even trying to defend it. No, so look, I don't have anything I, else to say. Okay. On I just have to say this one. I didn't, uh, I said that you have to put the verses beside each other. And when uh, there are more than one, uh, you know, uh, understanding of a word or a verse, then you have to interpret it. Okay. I can give you verses. Unfortunately, uh, we don't have time, but I can give you. Uh, verses that translators have translated one in one way, the same word. In another one, they have translated differently because it doesn't make sense. Okay. So uh, if you would like, I can uh, show I you. Don't, I wouldn't thing. like. Okay. Yes. All right. You, If you would like that. Let's, you can I wouldn't like. Let's move into our Q&A, uh, fellas, because yes. we are going to get pressed for time. Okay. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, fellas, for coming out and having this discussion. Uh, just to remind you all, the Modern Day Debate is a neutral a debate platform. Um, we hope you all feel welcome here. We're going to get into our Q&A. Uh, remember, only Super Chats over $10 are going to be read for uh, the sake of time here. Uh, so uh, we have Ember, $10. It is said, Allah gave the Prophet considerable knowledge, things no mortal could know. But how is it? that all-powerful Allah couldn't even give the Prophet the simple knowledge of basic literacy. Um, the, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Uh, he was illiterate, okay? And he, um, Allah chose to, uh, you know, to give him those knowledge, all right? But reading, writing, I don't know. I mean, this is a very... Uh, difficult to answer this question, okay? Because uh, he's supposed to just give him the the message so that he deliver and he explained for him the message. So it wasn't required that he become I don't know as a uh, rocket scientist. There was no requirement for that. As most uh, prophets were the same, they they were illiterate. And I have to say, by the way, but after this, right. I go, I, I go live. I, I just say after this, I go live right away to, uh, on my channel. Those who have more questions, they can uh, join me and uh, talk to me directly there. Yes. All right. Yeah. If anybody wants to join Perfect Dawah, he's extending the invitation there. Uh, Yellow banana, you send in ten euros, but I didn't have a question attached to it. So if you want to tag us in the live chat there, and uh, if you had a question, uh, if not, thank you so much for your. Uh, your donation there uh let's see austin howard ten dollars just wanted to say hi modern day debate love the platform and love you matt another amazing job as usual i could listen to your voice and points all day god don't, don't say like your voice like that. that's nice <laughs> yeah okay all right Thanks. respectful debates two to Okay. <laughs> I, I didn't think you were going to respond to that, but uh, yeah, uh, you have a fan. Respectful debates, 220 rupees. Question to perfect Dawa. Muslims in general believe that children are born with fit, fitra, the natural predisposition to believe in Allah. Uh, they reference a verse here. Uh, if you want it here, it's 66298. Uh can you prove it scientifically uh, that children are born with this natural uh, predisposition to believe? Um, I don't believe myself, of course, that uh, children are born Muslim. Uh, as I said, beginning, we are all born as animals, okay? And we become uh, whatever, Muslim, Christian, or whatever in the future, uh, depend on our society, the, our, uh, you know, uh, teachings. So depend on that, we, we, we find uh, our way. And uh, Islam is not a form that you are born to that form as uh, I was born in a Muslim family, but uh, I became atheist at the age of 25. I don't call myself an ex-ex Muslim, okay? I call myself uh, somebody who became, uh, was just born in a Muslim family. So I don't believe that you are born in a, a way of life because Islam is a way of life. Is a belief you cannot be born to a belief or a way of life. That's 
That's what I believe. Okay. I agree. Yes. I don't think children are born with with conceptual understandings and frameworks that, that match a religion. They can be raised that way, but I don't agree that I agree. We agree on something. Yes, we agree on many things, Matt. We, I, I don't, don't think so. That. I don't think we yeah. agree yeah. on that. <laughs> no, we agree. I, yeah, we agree. Uh, Matt, we agree that uh, Prophet Muhammad didn't split the moon. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, sure. I, yes, I, uh, we agree on that one as well. Yes. He can convince anybody else but himself yet resorts to denying half the Quran and the worst brain rot arguments I have ever yeah. met to the point he denies we are even humans. Enough, man. Okay. I think they're coming at you there. Yeah, that's so not they, they even say worth you addressing. deny that we're humans. And... For the record, if people yeah, consider themselves fans of me as... and just want to spew out super chats that are nothing of substance and just like name calling, uh, stop being fans of me. You're being shitty. Thank you, Matt. <laughs> All right, thank you for that. Uh, Andy Martin, 10 euros, says, people using the claim in their book to prove their claim. Matt, how do you stay sane hearing circular reasoning and never actual evidence in these debates? Okay, it's it's not a matter of, well, I mean, I guess we it is a matter of staying sane. If you want, but. but the issue here is that we we have we don't have a full understanding of why each individual believes. We have an understanding of why people generally believe, and it's pretty easy to assess. And it's it's telling that when you ask questions, what sort of answer do you get? If you ask how or why do you believe this, or how or why should someone believe this, what you would expect is a mechanism by which one can analyze the evidence and then a presentation of the specific evidence for that. If you don't get that, then what you have, the overwhelming majority of people couldn't even describe what it is that they believe specifically, let alone why. And once you are involved and once you are invested in a public profession of faith towards one of these religions, then even in the face of evidence to the contrary, you are going to stand up against it because now it's personal. Now it says something about who you are. Now you are going to be the one, who, you're going to be perceived as irrational. And so it's, if you're going to be perceived as irrational either way, why not be perceived for being irrational by doubling down and maintaining a hold on what your profession of faith is? Um, if you're going to lose an eye either way and you, you are unwilling to give it up because you don't know or understand or care about the truth, what else are you supposed to do? It's not surprising that this happens over and over and over again. All right, uh, moving on from there. Uh, let me just scroll through here. We're getting a whole lot of chats here. Uh, so Perfect Dawa from No Valve Gate, $10, thank you so much, says, stated, the Adawa stated that in nature, the big and strong survive and the weak and small don't. But if this is true, then why do we see a much wider variety of outcomes in nature? Uh, well, well, I said that uh, in uh, animal uh, world, uh, in our world as well, which is the animal world, the strongest one get the most, the weakest one get the least, okay? And uh, sometimes they even don't get anything and they die. So the, this is uh, true in our world as well. Uh, that uh, hundreds of millions of people live on one dollar a day and <clears throat> many times has happened that they die of hunger. So this is uh, in animal nature as well, uh, uh, true. But th that's that's the, uh, the system of uh, the nature, animal nature, uh, sorry, animal uh, world. And uh, yes, that's, um, um, I, I think it's a fact, especially uh, today we know that 1% of the world population, they uh, they own $110 trillion, while 50% of the world population, they own just less than half a percent of the total capital of the planet. And th because they live on $1 a day, and that's a fact, okay? So it's an undeniable fact that um, th those who are stronger, uh, before was stronger in <clears throat> muscles, today st stronger in, in you know knowledge, in uh, intelligence, so they get the most. So I think we may have found at least something else we potentially agree on, which is that there's a problem with income inequality and wealth. 
And if Islam were generally in favor of putting an end to that, I would say that's a wonderful thing. Still does not demonstrate in any way that Islam is true, but it's a wonderful thing. Um, unfortunately, as long as Islam holds that there are men and women in different categories, that men are superior to women and women are inferior to men, which it absolutely does. You might, you might disregard that verse about the beating thing, but it's in the same verse that Allah made men to be superior to women then you can't have income inequality between the genders um, within Islam. All right, uh, Matt, uh, I just have to say that, uh, first of all, I was trying to tell you that Islam is trying to create that equality, the equal world, okay? Uh, which uh, I think I see that uh, you also like that, okay? And that's uh, great. <clears throat> but about uh, women, uh, it is uh, absolutely equal in Islam, men and women. That's are just equal. not true. <clears throat> okay. Uh, <clears throat> that, that's just absolutely a lie. Are men forced to wear bags in any version of Islam? Okay. Uh, they, they, that's not Islam. Okay. Qua uh, that's a, in a tradition. So that uh, about. Uh, uh, oh, just, okay. Ju ju I don't sure. believe. I, I don't believe in that. Okay. Cool. In that verse, 434, does it say that men are created to be superior to women and in charge of women? No, no. It says that they have, uh, because they are provider, okay? Who, that, well, at that no, time. no, no. Men don't have to be the provider. Yeah, it it was. In that time, in those times, they were provider. Oh, so it was yes. in that time. In that time, yes. Chapter 49, verse 13, Matthew says, O mankind, indeed we have created you from male and female and made you people and tribes that you may know one another indeed the most noble of you in the sight of allah is the most righteous of you indeed allah is knowing all over so if you are a man or a woman doesn't matter if you are a muslim or non-muslim also doesn't matter if you are a righteous the the most righteous one is the best in the sight of Allah. So it doesn't matter you are a man or a woman. In the sight of Allah, we are all equal. Where that, does it say you're all equal? <clears throat> Wait, no, no, and I'm not concerned about within the sight of Allah because I don't think Allah exists. Where does it say in the Quran that women are equal to be to men and should have equal rights to men and should have equal rights to property and income as men? Where does it say okay. that? Okay. Chapter 16, verse 97 also. <clears throat> Whoever does righteousness, whether male or female, while he's a faithful, we will surely cause him to live a good life. That's and about will... wh whether or not that's about whether or not Allah will bless them. I asked you, see, here's the here's the thing. I asked a specific question and we don't get an answer that's that's okay. tied to that. Um, OK. All right. So I, I said that uh, those who understand. Yes, sir. I just said, yes. Uh, those who understand Quran uh, in a good uh, way, they know that men are, and women are... Th those who understand absolute. the Quran the way mm. you do. I will admit yes. that your understanding of the Quran is probably much better for humanity than yes. anybody else's I've run across. The issue yes. is whether or not you're right. And since you don't have to show alone. it, and you don't care whether or not you're I, I, right. And I'm not you're alone. Convinced. Yes, My, uh, Matt, I'm not alone. We are millions, okay? Yeah. Okay, I, uh, yes, yes. cool. Very good. Yeah. If only it were relevant. Yes, uh, I appreciate that you like that one. Yes, very good. Thank you. Yes. Okay, and the truth is, uh, yes, yes. Uh, uh, I mean, this is difficult to to explain it right now. Okay, I I don't know how to explain it. Sorry. <laughs> that to answer it. Mm. I I just just wanted the question was for you to define truth, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, I understand. Yes, and and you didn't. Is it too difficult for you to defend right now? Right. I mean, uh, it is difficult to. Uh, it's literally the subject of this debate: is Islam yes. true? And someone's literally asking you to define truth, and that's too difficult, right? Yeah. No, I mean that uh, if uh, if I have to, it if it uh, matches my understanding. I mean, 
for me that becomes true okay maybe it is not truth for you ah, but for so, me it's oh, no, true. I, okay. thank you you said for it was too difficult true. but it's actually really easy it's true yeah. if you agree with it and it might not be for true me. for me you exactly. have an absolutely uh, yeah. nonsensical mm -hmm. definition of truth that makes it nothing more than truth is whatever perfect dawa thinks that's not truth so how about you matt how, how do you i think? defined it at the beginning of my opening okay i already did it i don't need to rehash it for you i'm sorry you didn't pay attention maybe you would have had a definition of truth when it was convenient but truth is that which comports with reality not just it doesn't make a difference what any individual thinks about it. Truth is independent of your opinion of it. And the yes. fact that you are equating your opinion with truth is testament to everything that you got wrong today. Yes, the reality for you, maybe it's not the reality for me that will matter. No, 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 sorry. Reality is reality. There yeah, isn't yeah. individual realities. <laughs> yeah. And if you think yeah. there is, which clearly yeah. you do, you have yeah. to prove yeah. it, which you can never do because yeah. you're now in a in reality all to yourself. You entered a debate when about is Islam true, when you're not defending anything tied to standard Islam and basically saying other Muslims are wrong, and then your your standard for truth is that which comports with you. Thanks. That's all we needed to know. You could have said that before we started the debate. All right. I apologize again to the live chat. Uh, I, I Since you're upset that I muted my mic, I had a rolling burp and I didn't want to share it with all of you. Uh, so if you missed your, my uh, call out, it was from Chuck Secchi for $9.99. Uh, and the question was, uh, what is the definition of truth? So that's what we've been uh, talking about here. Well, let's move on. The Logical Larynx, $10. Are there any organizations you are a part of that you'd like to promote even more yeah. than you have already? Yes, <laughs> yes. I have said it. Uh, many people know. Uh, there is an organization, and uh, I wish that um, I said we are millions. Uh, that organization is uh, has been uh, existing in 57 years, uh, a Muslim organization that we are fighting against the Iranian regime. And women are our leaders. Women are absolutely equal in our organization. Uh, not only equal, we have given uh, most powers to women to show themselves that they are equal to men. Uh, and that's why I said to Matt that I'm not alone. We are millions. And we will uh, bring down the Iranian regime and we will change the, the entire Middle East. Uh, women will rise up for their rights there as well, because they will see that Muslim women are ruling a country there. Uh, and there is nothing wrong with equality between men and women. Yes. Well, I wish you luck. But <laughs> without you. an understanding of truth. And beginning with your yeah. your defense that the Quran is infallible, which you can't, all that now means is that the Quran agrees with you. Um, I don't know how you're going to convince anybody else. All right, let's move on from here. Uh, we have uh, Logical Larynx Strikes Again for $10. Great job, everyone. Now say one nice thing about each other without mentioning religion. Or don't. I'm not oh, your without dad. Without mentioning religions. <laughs> I, I think that Perfect Dawa legitimately cares about a better world and equality. Yeah. And, and I heard that uh, also Matt do that, and I appreciate it very much. That's very nice if he also do that. So um, that's... Uh, I, I, I and heard the moderator that. is polite enough to mute when he burps. So now I've said something nice about everybody that had nothing to do with religion. <laughs> <laughs> all right it's very kind of me uh you have no idea how bad it was um yeah you know the george carlin skit about you know one so bad it could end a marriage it's kind of like that only from the awesome. top. anyway all right so uh yellow banana 10 euros religion religious people sorry religious people prayed for covid to end yet people still died all over the place Vaccines and science fixed it. Either God doesn't care, prayers don't work, or yeah. God doesn't exist. What's your explanation? Yeah. <clears throat> I um, I said that uh, God uh, sent us just guidance. <clears throat> he is not going to fix the COVID. He gave us uh, enough intelligent to, intelligence to, to do it ourselves. And it didn't meant ever that he fixed the problems. Uh, 
it meant that we do fix the problems, but by his guidance, okay? And his guidance is a moral word. It's not about uh, praying that, uh, uh, what is it? He fixed the problems. We have to do it ourselves. We have to stand uh, for our right. It is uh, many places in Quran that says, stand for your rights, fight for uh, against oppressors. He's not going to, and he says himself, he's not going to do anything, uh, but people have to do it themselves. Okay, he just give us the guidance. <clears throat> yes. All right. And after that, we have uh, Corel 10 Euro says, you said Muhammad didn't split the moon. Could he have done it if he wanted to? <clears throat> if not, he wanted, if God wanted, but uh, God didn't uh, want to give him uh, a Quran says, uh, in many verses that you don't need because we gave a miracle to previous uh, prophets, but people just said it is magic. So there is no um, use to that. Uh, so you don't need any miracle or Muhammad. Uh, all you need is Quran. So there is no any verses in Quran that says Prophet Muhammad split the moon. And that's just the fabricated hadith. Okay. And he didn't split the moon because there are many verses that goes against that hadith. Okay. <clears throat> All right, excellent. And we'll keep moving right along. Yellow Banana for another 10 euros. Thank you, Yellow Banana, for your support. Perfect, Dawa. We know that humans have been around for 150 to 200,000 years. Why would God not intervene until a couple thousand years ago? Also, in very briefly, what is your view on evolution? <clears throat> I believe in evolution. Yes, <clears throat> I believe in evolution. And I believe that uh, God waited until we are uh, evolved enough and we understand uh, he couldn't uh, send, I mean, it wasn't possible to teach um, monkeys uh, uh, anything because they wouldn't understand. So he waited, waited until we are developed enough to understand and then he sent us uh, prophets. So uh, as I said, also, I believe in evolution. I don't believe that we are aliens and we just were put on this planet. <clears throat> All right. And uh, just to let the people in the live chat know, uh, we do have to wrap this up uh, in the next, uh, well, we uh, it's 4.41 here where I am. So we got to wrap it up in the next 20 minutes. Uh, so Lord Stannis, 9.99, another cheeky, cheeky donation there, uh, just under the $10 mark, but it's euros, so that translates better over here. We'll still read it. <laughs> Why does the Quran say that if all mountains disappeared, you would be able to see the entire earth and that it would be without any curves? Sounds like all-knowing Allah is a flat earther. <clears throat> all right. Uh, I, have, I said that I haven't uh, been pondering in every single verses of Quran, and I don't believe that uh, Allah says uh, about flat earth, okay? And if he give me the, the words, I will uh, be able to make research and then I will address that uh, on my live stream, okay? Uh, I go live after this right away and every Saturdays. So those who have such a questions, they are uh, more than welcome to uh, join my weekly uh, live streams and we can address all these uh, questions okay if not uh, right now then will be uh, next stream so uh, I will uh, talk to those who uh, <clears throat> know uh, such a verses better and uh, I will give the, the right explanation so please go to my channel and subscribe there and join my live streams and another thing I have to say that uh, those who would like to fight Islamic extremism, uh, please support us, okay? And uh, I need help because uh, I, I am one of those few who can fight these Islamic extremists. Uh, I thought because, there were millions. Uh, sorry, we, no, I, we, I say that I'm one of the few that we are fighting, okay? The, the organization that I'm following, following they are uh, right now, they are concentrating on fighting Iranian regime. Okay. And that's a lot of job for them, unfortunately. So I'm one of those uh, few who is uh, concentrating on all. Yeah. So I'm putting a lot of time other places, but they are uh, 
all concentrated on Iranian regime so far because th this is the, the root of all evil in the Middle East, all problems but in the Middle East. They should come to your live stream to get answers, right? Uh, no, they, they shouldn't come because uh, they ha they have also their own, uh, you know, as I said, I have to also consider with them. They have the right uh, answer to these qu uh, questions as well. Okay, but they are busy with fighting the Iranian regime. But I have put my time also uh, here on my channel to fight uh, Islamic extremism. Yes. All right, I will move on. Jeff Cochrane. Uh... So sorry if uh, you feel like I'm picking on you, Dawa. Uh, feel free to, uh, you know, definitely uh, have open dialogue in the course of these conversations, as a lot of these questions are directed uh, uh, to what you provided in your opening, Dawa. So, perfect Dawa. Matt provided clear evidence that the Quran is fallible. If every mistake in the Quran is actually a misunderstanding, doesn't that suggest the Quran is imperfect and confusing? Um, all right. Uh, as I said, some verses are uh, unspecific, and the verses that I read, they are, uh, you know, Quran says uh, as a fact. Okay, Quran tells them uh, about a fact, and then say, "Wouldn't you uh, reflect?" Okay. Uh, so these are the uh, the verses that Quran wants people to, to you know, to to think about um, a fact. But there are verses that are just, you know, uh, metaphorical, and they are not exactly how people read it. Okay, and those verses are not uh, any facts; they are just uh, stories. Okay, to tell people, uh, give them uh, just a message. So you have to understand that if the verse, if Quran wants God wants you to think, to reflect, for example, about the universe, how it was created, and so on, and it says. Wouldn't they reflect? Quran mentioned that. Yes. All right. And perfect Dawa. This is from RPG Debunks. Ten dollars. Perfect Dawa. You said Christianity is true, but Islam and Christianity have opposing views on Christ's divinity. Both can't be true at the same time. Okay. Uh we have, of course, uh, differences, but it doesn't make them false totally. Okay, there are, uh, you know, has been there has been um, uh, how do you say it, uh, verses or ideas that have been inserted in those religions. Okay, and I mention always uh, as well that, um, for example stoning adulterers in those two, even Judaism, I say that it has been also fabricated verses, okay, that these are not commands of God. And those who try to keep these uh, barbaric uh, pagan practices, they try to insert those commands also in Quran, but they couldn't. That's why they created fabricated hadiths and they said and unfortunately many times when I talk to these extremists and say this is not uh, from God from the most merciful and for forgiving God they say oh look look it is in Christianity and Judaism as well that's why I say that not everything in those religions are from God okay like these verses all right but in, to in totality they are religions of God yes <clears throat> All right, thank you so much for that. And that is actually the end of our Super Chats there. So uh, uh, we'll wrap it up from here. Uh, just extend a huge thank you to uh, Matt Delahani and uh, Perfect Dawa for coming out and having this conversation. Uh, thank you, everybody, in the live chat for your support. Uh, and just as a reminder, the DebateCon 3.0 is going to be a live in-person event. It's Saturday, April 22nd, and it's at Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, if you can put as little as a dollar into the crowdfund, that's great. Uh, see all the links in the description right now when uh, we uh, exit out here. And uh, thank you, fellas, so much for coming out and having this conversation. I just have to say thank you, Matt, for being here. Um, and uh, I'll go live now. So please join me there. Thank you, my brother, Matt. Okay. Take care, everybody. Thank you. Thanks. Have a nice evening. Thank you. Have a nice evening. Everybody go have fun on his channel. All right. Thanks, fellas. Take care. Take care. Thank you. Bye.